Welcome to round seven. I think this is round seven of the Fortnite Formula Fortnite racing series. And we're here in Bayangol in Mongolia, the capital of Mongolia for today's race. Uh, and all the drivers have pulled up in a parking lot as well. Um, here, and it is a beautiful day here today, as you can see. 27 degree ambient temperature and 36 degree track temperature so we will see how this will affect today's race and we have also got two planes that will be coming on to fly around and this is the most worked on track the team worked on this track for about three hours and we most and we this was the hardest track we worked on we looked at preference images from buying goal and made this type of dog that looked like one that we saw in the preference image and this one as well but besides that let's all enjoy uh today's race as they are going to all um, drive out in a second and this is the logo for our race today and um here they are going on to their formation lap so that that's the grand prix logo this is the most worked on track yet Hopefully it isn't too laggy today as there is a lot of pieces put in and they are on their formation lap right now. Lining up. We've got a rookie as well. We have got Zadie uh, taking um, taking Backlash's place in ghetto racing for now. And um, so that's a rookie and also will be until the end of the 2024 Formula Fortnite season. And guys, today um, this video will be posted on my main channel, Ryan Tube, and an FFRS dedicated channel that I will link in the, the in the description. And that will be FFRS content. I'll be posting all of my previous races from FFRS on there, as well as my next races. So I hope you guys will see them. I'll also put the races for the rest of the season on my main channel. You can also join the Discord server to see the videos just in case you can't find my channel. So here they are lining up on the grid. We have Aura on pole position. We've got the foundation in second. This is the first time Aura has been on pole position. We've got the imagined in third position and we've got Zadie in fourth at the back of the grid. And now uh, we've got a plane show that will happen right above the main straight um today and this will be a really good race in my opinion this race will be amazing and the view will be from here as you can see there is one plane over there flying there should also be another plane coming around there so here we go That was so clean. That plane upside down just flew over the other plane there. And we are now hyped to get this race underway as they are here dancing right now. And um, there they are coming in for landing. But here we are ready for today's race. I reckon this will be an amazing race and the qualifying was really good as well so this race will get on the way any minute now it has been a magnificent three months and uh, it's been a magnificent two weeks since the continuation of the 2022 season and we'll see you in September for the next race And here we go, it's almost ready to begin. And... The green flag goes, and they're off as they go into turn one. Aura pushes the foundation into turn one. And the Imagine stays behind the foundation into turn one as they go through here on this corner, Aura is first, 
currently. And here they are coming around the serpent area. And first off, let's focus on the rookie at the beginning of this race. Oh, and there is more lag. Oh, there we go. And let's focus on the rookie for the part of this race. Now, the rookie Zadie, is, this is her first race in FFRS. And it has been magnificent so far. Even though it's in loss, that still doesn't mean anything. Zadie could be good over her two-year contract that she's made with Ghetto Racing. Now, here they come. Comes Aura into this corner. And here they're going into the into the Microsoft corner and they're coming on to the final S's of the track and they go right on to the main straight. And they come into turn one, there's Aura. Oh, and there's some lag, but Aura goes into turn one through the S's. As she's driving through the Zadie keeping up with the pack. You're on lap three of this Grand Prix, I'm pretty sure. We're on lap three of this race. To go around the hairpin there. And, yeah, so, Aura has been really good throughout this whole season, and this is actually Aura's first pole position in FFRS. So that is really good. As they go into lap four, and they're coming past the S's. This is Aura's first pole position. Which is really good, some lag lasting for a bit of time there. And there they are, as we get a drone shot of this. Slowly hitting the wall, coming into the hairpin. And here they go, coming through here. Now, let's also focus on the imagined, the imagined has been doing uh, really well this season, mainly finishing in second position. And there comes the Imagined into the pit on lap four. One, two, and there goes the Imagined out. A great 1.9 second pit stop from the Imagined as she comes out in fourth position behind everyone. Now let's see what will happen and who will win this race in Mongolia. Oh, lag. There's more lag. Oh, there we go though. It's being sold really quickly. The lag during these races are being sold really quickly. As is and they're coming around the S's. You can see that's Aura coming around onto the main straight. And there is the foundation pitting. And there the foundation goes. And there's also um, Ghetto Racing switching cars. Wow, we didn't really have to do that and you don't have to do that. You just have to stay in one car. Anyway, there's the foundation. Let's check out on Aura as she comes through the hairpin and comes into this corner. Oh, and there's some more lag as they go around into the Microsoft Tech Pro barrier. And here it comes Aura straight through there. They come around turn one. Through the S's they go. And there goes into that turn. Let's just have a look at this track design. Very weird. Uh, definitely, if you, uh, have a weird mind, but it's definitely, um, harder to tell of what it is 
by all of the buildings and the parking lots and the footpaths and stands around the track and luckily it is a lot harder to notice as well as adding that runoff area to make it a lot less inappropriate um anyway we don't want to talk about the track layout but how the race is doing that is aura from project racing oh here's some there's some lag going on, and that was Aura from Project Racing Pity just coming out ahead of Foundation and um, and the Imagined. But now there's Zadie coming around the S's. Oh, going a little wide through the S's, hitting the wall slightly, lagging a little bit. And here they come through the hairpin. We're on the stands for this one. Now, Aura is having quite a good lead here, and the Foundation hasn't lost a race at all this season. Ever since his debut, he has won every race in FFRS, which is crazy. We're on about lap 8 here. There's some lag. Comes through action and we're on like lap 7, I think. Or 8, I think we're on lap 8 actually. And here comes Aura. Foundation. But, yeah, it's definitely a different. And also, uh, speaking of this, um, we also have a safety truck. As well and here they go into turn one comes aura here comes the foundation but like we gotta admit this is a really good racetrack um, even the drivers say so and on our FFRS dedicated channel tomorrow we will be interviewing with some of our drivers from this race we will be talking about what happened and there is some more lag going on and they'll be talking about how they feel about this track and how it was. And we will be asking for their honest opinions. And here they come into the Microsoft Tech Pro Barrier. As you can see here from the parking lot, there's a good view from the parking lot. And there they go, right through there. As they come through the S's, Aura goes around through the S's. We are on lap 10 of the race right now. Um, and the 17 total laps of this Grand Prix. We've been going for 13 minutes now. It's been 10 laps of this race. And here they go around the corner. Really great corner by the Imagine. And here comes Aura. Straight through there. And more lag is going on in this race. We are so sorry about the lag today. It is Sweden over again, but the lag gets fixed pretty quickly. And there they go. That's the Imagined. And Aura. And the Foundation. Oh, and that's the Imagined touching the wall at turn one. A lot of bad camera angles in today's race, but it's good for when they come around the hairpin here. Yeah. Look at that sliding by the foundation, that was amazing, that was amazing. Amazing sliding, and again from the outside here in the S's. Here comes the foundation, gaining! Oh! And there is some more lag as well. And oh, that is the foundation. Oh, it cuts off the imagined. Wow, that's the foundation making a crucial mistake at turn one. On the lap uh, 11, I believe, out of 17. Oh, correct me below. If you've been counting the laps, please correct me. They come through the hairpin. On actually a section that are tied together right here, they are actually right next to each other. So, 
That's crazy. Anyway, back through the S's again. They come. There comes Aura. Going onto the main show. Here comes the foundation and the imagined. Um, and for a little bit, let's focus a bit on Zadie and see how she's going in today's race. Here's Zadie. L okay, here's some lag as Zadie goes into turn one, going wide a little bit on the gravel trap. On the back straight there. Oh, and here they come around this corner. And here they go to the Microsoft Tech Pro Barrier. And they go around the corner. There's Aura, here comes the foundation around the final corner. On lap 13, they come onto lap 13 of the Grand Prix. And here comes Aura. Aura has been really well this race. We've been going for 16 minutes this race been amazing. We're on lap 13 right now. Here it comes. Oh, and here's some lag, uh, but we could get a good look at Aura. Oh, and then the lag shot. That is really weird. But here we go onto the Microsoft Tech Pro Barrier right now, right? And there's the foundation. We'll be focusing on the foundation a little bit today. Now, the foundation has been doing really well in these past few races. Well, he's been winning every race since Sweden, which is insane to think about. He's won every race since Sweden. So, let's see how he can do in today's race and if he can catch up to Aura. Now, here we go. Around here, there's Aura. Sliding. They go into the hairpin section of the track and we go on to the uh, memorial area of the track. And here's some lag going on at the memorial section of the track. One through the S's. Oh, that was extreme by the foundation. And there is actually Zadie just hold by herself there, just having a lot of fun. Nothing to really worry about. Anyway, we come back to the action. There we go. Is the foundation in second and the Imagine in third? They go past. The safety truck into Memorial Corner for, and coming into the second S's or the snakes. So there they go through here. And we are on the lag, lag, lag. And I think that this is the final up of the race. I don't know, but we'll see. And I'm pretty sure this is the second last race of the Grand Prix. Here comes Aura, here comes the Foundation. The Foundation's been doing really well. Throughout this whole season. There's some static shots of the cars there. They come through the snakes. Magnificent race. But no, that is the final lap of the race. Yes, magnificent race. And Aura wins the Mongolian Grand Prix. The Foundation comes in second and the Imagined in third. And then uh, coming around the final corner is coming around Memorial Corner as well. Is, the, is Zadie. And it's been an amazing race for everyone. This is Aura's first ever win in FFRS ever. Must be really happy right now. The foundation doesn't seem too happy, but we'll um, get his thoughts uh, in about, I think tomorrow we will get his thoughts on this race and how he thought about today's race.
Now it has been an, an amazing race, but here as well you got the track logo. So we'll also hopefully I think we'll be racing here next year, but maybe not. I could edit the race calendar and I could put Mongolia back on, depending on how the drivers feel about the track. The reason this is called a Memorial Corner is because this is a Memorial Corner for a GT 2011 crash. That didn't happen in real life, but it happened in the FFRS universe. Um, after two drivers passed away from a uh, big crash here at this Microsoft Tech Pro barrier in 2011. That wasn't there before. It was just a concrete barrier it used to be, but after that, they fixed it. And one of them went right in there, boom, and the other one flopped right over and they all died. Sadly, but um, anyway, we'll cut back to the action over here. But yeah, actually, back over here. Yeah, so sadly, Memorial um, Corner. Both drivers are buried here, and this is actually the aftermath and the wreck of exactly what happened. And here we go. The podium is being set up right here, right now. And here we go. They're getting their champagne ready as in front of the logo is the podium, ladies and gentlemen. And there they go, getting all the champagne out. Um, it was a lovely race today, though, and um, it was just incredible, you know. It was just a really, really good race. And in third position, two second place finishes, we have The Imagined in second place. The first second place finish that he has had in FFRS, losing his streak of winning the foundation. And finally, winning for the first time in FFRS ever, and has gotten five points with the win. We have in first position, Aura. And there they all are on the podium. And here they go, champagne. And it has been an amazing race, but the foundation mustn't be a too happy losing his race streak of of eight, I think. Um, losing the race streak of seven, actually. So, yeah, anyways, it's been a really, really great race today. We hope you all enjoyed the 2022 Mongolian Grand Prix. And we all see you in September after the next mid-season break, after this race in, uh, I'm pretty sure, I can't remember. Um, completely forgot I have something called this called and oh, fireworks are going off today. And here comes a plane that's going to fly through. And look at all those fireworks. It has been lovely race today. We have loved this race a lot today. This has been an amazing race. This was uh, an incredible race. I've got to say. Very, very great race. So it was really, really well done. And there they all are coming through here. Oh, that's a lag. Okay. Look at all those fireworks going up and around there. It's been a magnificent Grand Prix. We will see you on the 17th of September in Samoa for the uh, 2022 Samoan Grand Prix. And we will see you all um, definitely in Samoa. But if you guys want to see more FFRS content, 
link in the description for the new FFRS channel. Uh, we'll be doing interviews over the course of just, you know, over the course of days. And uh, then also don't forget after the final race of the season on the 22nd of September, which is Italy in Rome, we will be having uh, the end of the season, and then we'll be having like interviews and stuff. And um, then preseason testing will be in the in December of 2022, and then the season will start on the tw on the third of January. So I'm just gonna make sure that everything is going great. Race the game, everyone. Um, we hope you all enjoy, and we will see you in the 17th of September in Samoa.